viewers to the ninth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the detailed division of the 2023 internal mathematics paper one so if you have not seen the other episode please check out on our youtube channel or check on the link below for our app which is the companion app that comes with this youtube channel in that app you are going to find the videos that are arranged in a well-structured way so that you can easily locate the videos you can also find the past papers you can also do the quizzes based on the past papers to test your lateness of in terms of preparing for your exams you can also join the readers board to co compete with your friends on monthly basis so that you see how you are performing if you're not able to see the link it means i'm still looking for the few people to test the apps because it goes public so you'll be able to see the email there you can send me an email indicating that you're interested in testing this app before it goes live so let us go straight to question m a letter is chosen at random from the writers of the word excellent what is the probability that the letter e is chosen so the question is we need to find the probability of choosing letter A. That's the question. The first thing in mathematics understanding the question. So that's what we are required. The first thing is what's the formula for probability? So the formula for probability is let us call this event E to be X. So probability of event A happening is the number of occurrence that are found in X, which is N X. Then divide by the possible events that can occur in the sample size so in this case what is the sample size so the sample size is in the word excellent so what is found in excellent in this way we are saying how many letters are in excellent we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine so we have n open bracket s is equal to nine then in this excellent word so how many letter e's are found so we have one the first e two three so there are three then what's the probability so then you can say probability of finding x which is choosing the letter e is equal to three over nine which is equal to one over three when we simplify because three into three into three is a one three into nine is a three so the probability of choosing letter e from the word excellent is one out of three then when you do that you are good to go you can look at question b the areas of two similar shapes are in the ratio 25 to 36 if the length of the smaller shape is two centimeter find the length of the larger space again this question comes to ask you either give you the ratio of the volumes in that case we're dealing with cubics when you are given the ratio of areas you are dealing with squares that's what it means so what we do is we do this maybe let me create bigger space i look for bigger space so let us see same we are looking for the ratio so the ratio of length we have area the first thing so the area we have a small we have small and large then we have the length again small large so for area is 25 for small then for a bigger one is 36 then for length is 2 then for the larger one we don't know that's what we are looking for so these are the ratios so because the area is centimeter square then the length is centimeter what it means is even in the ratios the ratio of areas is square while the ratio of the length is not squared so to find this what you do is we use this relations so we are going to say the length of small divided by the length of large is equal to the square root of the area of small 
then over the square root of the area of large. Why? Because when you find the square root of area, we are finding the distance, which is the length. So we have to compare length to length, some unit. We will not compare the two. So the only way we can have the same unit that we can compare in terms of ratios, we need to find the square root of the area so that they are in the standard units, which is in centimeters. So the thing that you need to know is the question wants you either to find the, the length of one side, either you are given the ratio of their areas, so in that case we use the square root. If you are given their volumes, the ratio of their volumes, you need to convert them to centimeter by finding the square root of those volumes so that you, you compare two things that are alike. Because um, these shapes are similar or they are proportionate in some way. So now given that, we know the length of a small one is uh, 2 centimeter divided by x which we are looking for, for the large one, then is equal to the square root of um, the smaller one is 25, so it will be 25 centimeter square, square, divide by the square root of 36 centimeter square. So we're going to have 2 centimeter is equal to x, equals, what's the square root of 25? It's 5. What's the square root of centimeter? Is in, centimeter square is centimeter. What's the square root of 36? Is 6. What's the square root of um, centimeter square here? Is in, centimeter so you know we have the same units now so this becomes easier now it becomes just we cross multiply it will be six times two it will be 12 centimeter square because we are multiplying also centimeters equals x times five it will be 5x centimeter so what do we do we divide by five centimeter five centimeter so this one and this one goes then this one and this one goes then this one into this one is centimeter then 5 into 12 is 2.4 centimeter equals x so x is equal to 2.4 centimeter so this is how you answer this question